Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are in the midst of some interesting action. You can see this kind of glowing yellow line. This is Bavaria. We are in the middle of a holy war for Bavaria. We declared a holy war against the Holy Roman Empire. Holy Roly, they roll around. They get fat and just are like, wee! <laughs> and so we are fighting everyone who has glowing red around them. So Sweden, France, Italy, the Holy Roman Empire, and some other little guys, part of Scotland maybe? We are fighting a lot of major powers because of that. It wasn't exactly what Hermes thought was going to happen when we started the war, but life sometimes goes its own way. Apparently there's an Italian army crossing right there. I have no idea why they're doing that. We're going to raise up our own personal troops from four of our personal domains. We're going to leave the ones in Constantinople alone to build up. Ooh, if you remember earlier, we had two of these cross red swords. Those are new administration penalties. Now we're just down to the one. That's going to last for 20 some years, but still. This army here is Tangri Holy Warriors that have answered the summons to the Holy War. Why don't we have all these guys meet up, I guess, right there? Kind of concerned about this big Italian army coming across. If, if we look at who we're all fighting with, there's the Holy Roman Emperor, there's the King of Sweden. He doesn't have a lot of troops. That was our Chancellor saying he kissed up to the King of Italy, who's in prison and our enemy. There's the King of France, he has 22,000 troops. There's the king of Italy, he has about 8,000. And there's the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire who has 20,000 troops. So we are terribly outnumbered, actually. <laughs> king Bernadine, didn't you send your troops tonight? What happened to your troops? His troops disappeared and now there's like 900 I can get. Oh well, we're going to bring them over anyway. I do not know what happened to... There was a big Italian army around here just moments ago. We are currently sieging this castle here in Bavaria. Once we get that, we can turn the war score in our favor. Uh, well, there's a negative 5%. Partly because of a battle. Largely because they control all of Bavaria yet. We want their delicious donuts. I go nuts for them. I kick them in the nuts. We're going to arrest somebody who... Who the hell are you? What did you do? I don't know what you did. Why can you be arrested? Whatever. It's not exactly a primary concern of the Carpathian Empire at the moment. We just need to start taking some territories and fighting them where we can and when we can. Our holy warriors are like, come on, hurry up and catch up with us, dude. Tangri declares that we must go murder the infidels. Hopefully this will significantly weaken the Holy Roman Empire if we're able to take Bavaria from them. I believe those are French troops. Oh wait, no, there's a... What the hell are they doing? One of our outposts, one of our trade posts was sieged up there because we have this little trade republic here. If we look at, is this trade zones? Yeah. So our trade republic is acting in all these areas. Pomerania is it. And apparently one of their trade posts was sieged by the Swedes. The Holy Roman Empire is also fighting Aquitaine for this region here. And Aquitaine is winning that war. I don't know what to hope for. I mean, I want Aquitaine to win in the long run, but if they win in the short run, they might actually help the Holy Roman Empire in this. Oh, we got too many guys here. We're suffering from attrition. We're going to move half of them to Nuremberg. Just there's not enough... I don't know, I guess food or whatever in this area to support us in the winter? Come on guys, hurry up, catch up with the Holy Warriors. We need all the troops up front. In fact, we're going to just move everybody to the border right now anyway. They'll catch up piecemeal if they need to. I'm going to keep our eyes open, because the enemies could have some really big armies that would outnumber us not too far away. We can merge these dweebs. 
It would be nice if we could siege this castle here too. It's got a really big group of levies and garrisons. So this will hopefully be really decent territory if we win it. May you live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot. Okay, Yvette the fat spy master, go deal with it. She's like, you don't have to be rude about it. I think I did. Auto save. We're at negative 8% war score because we don't currently have any enemy territory. I am a little worried about that. I'm more worried about a 20,000 man army showing up when we're not looking. So one thing about these real-time strategy games... Whoa. Like, right there. Are they going to be there on the 18th? We're going to be out on the 15th. They're going to get there a day too late. Shit. We better get these guys there as fast as possible. Everybody, march like you've never marched before. And you guys, put a good leader in the flank. We can see almost 30,000 troops coming our way. Come on, we need to take this. We're almost there. As we're trying to get reinforcements up and around. For some reason, they're trying to avoid us there. They're suffering from attrition too, though. And since they have a much bigger army, their attrition losses might be bigger than ours. You can see that there's... Uh, a French army in there, an Italian army, and the Holy Roman Emperor's army. I do not know why they didn't attack us together. The Holy Roman guys won't suffer attrition there, most likely. Well, they might with how many guys are there. Victory! We have sieged the castle here. You can see we already have 10% war score because of that. Oh, and look how fast our guys are dying. We're having guys die here too quickly. More quickly than I was hoping. Man, they've had a ton of guys die there. Actually, all you guys hold up right here. Man, this attrition rate is not good. I didn't want to leave the guys there, but we almost had to have a big force there to make them think twice about attacking us. In fact, why don't we have you guys move right here? That way you can start sieging the city and the temple. And then all three of these guys are all set up where they can cover each other if need be. At the same time that we'll be sieging things down. I am really surprised that Big Army didn't come after us. Unless they're going to go after Aquitaine. But I doubt that because most of those guys aren't fighting Aquitaine. Uh-oh. There we go. They're going to be here on the 27th of March. Let's see if we can march our guys in there to counter them. We would have the advantage of there's a hill here and they're crossing a major river. Better get everybody headed that way. Our reinforcements would be in there before they got there. So we would be able to have about close number. Dangerous faction? You assholes really are going for independence now in the middle of this war? Never should have let anyone out of prison. Those are probably kids of some of the people who were rebels back in the day. You can already see attrition has really hurt their numbers there. And the battle is about to start. Right now, Emperor Hermes II... Up here, he's waiting for a battle report. He's like, battle report! And this guy comes in and he's like, Hey, um... Oh, never mind, this is important. This is from our chief shaman. He has successfully converted the people of Constantinople to Tangri. So, before we deal with the battle, which is important, that means... Well, I can't believe he did that so quickly. The former heart, homeland, capital of the Byzantine Empire is now Tangri. So, Chief Shaman, proselytize there, convince Thrake to become Tangri as well. That is excellent news. 
And now to this battle. We are slightly outnumbered. We have better leaders. We do have reinforcements showing up that will give us a slight lead. But they have a... And we're also on hills. That's good for us. And they're crossing a major river, which is really bad for them. So hopefully we can have a giant upset here. If we could kill 20,000 troops, that would be really good for our war effort. Unfortunately, our guys are not fighting very well. They do have more archers than us. That's part of it. The charge phase should be good. All right, Brandenburg up there fell to the enemy. Come on, we got our reinforcements in. We now have close to the same amount of archers, not quite. We gotta get out of these archery type phases. I have been spending more time with my wife, Sesnia, lately. And though we did not marry for love, love is growing between us. He's like, oh, my old woman. She's like, don't call me old. I broke my hip when I fell down. Come on, let's break their center. This should be the strong point of it. Us doing charges. We broke their left flank. Their king. The king of Germany was in there. Oh, man, this turned out to be a huge victory for us. Victory! 31% war score. Move an army there. Move an army back there. I was hoping we were going to get a little more war score, but that was a pretty big battle that went in our favor. Made up for the crushing loss we had like in the very beginning of the game when our vassal's army fought like crap. Alright, while we're at it, who are you? King Jerome, the ruler? Let's kiss up to you, because he's part of the independence faction. Let's give you a vet. Oh. We're going to give him some titles. We'll designate him our regent. He has no claims on our throne, so that's all right. And then who else do we want to go for? Who else kind of likes us? We'll go to the High Chief Alexandra. We will order the honorary title of... Oh, we have nothing good to order. <laughs> Maybe it's because she's a woman? So we'll award the High Chief of Kiev the title Master of the Blade. I don't know if that'll be enough to convince these guys to get out of the Independence Faction, but we can hope. Uh, we really need this temple and this other things to siege down. Let's check out the armies of our enemies. The Holy Roman Empire is 10,000 guys. That's still a threat. The King of Sweden has only about 400 guys. Not a big deal. The King of France has about 6,000. They lost a lot of guys. The King of Italy has about 8,000. We killed a ton of the Catholic soldiers. They are a little bit of a threat up there. Do we have any allies we can call in? He will not help us because he's Christian. And his family's a bunch of jerk-offs. What the hell's Bernadine's army? Well, if you added up all the troops of the enemy, they might still outnumber us, but we're doing pretty solid. In fact, we might be able to slightly bump up the speed. That was a pretty major win we had right there. The biggest threat we have, well, is the country we're fighting. Oh, and sweet! By giving up those titles, the King of Lithuania, who's up here. Oh, wait, no, he died. That's why he left the faction. The King of Lithuania died. Excellent. Or was I looking at a different king? When did you die? All right, was it Bernadine that I was kissing up to? No, I don't know. Oh, no, I think it was the guy who's the king of Georgia. I forgot we had a third king. He was like, you know what? This guy is a pretty good emperor. That's what I've been saying. Oh, no, we're related. Oh, no. Do you have any incest babies? I mean, they're all incest babies. I think the inbred thing looks like purple. No. Our emperor's got a sweet scar. See on his face? From when a bear attacked him? He could be in the new Fox show when bears attack. King Borl the Usurper has usurped the title of Kingdom of Lithuania from High Chief Lubajibajur. Whatever. Fate smiles upon 
Emperor Hermes, his concubine Silva, is pregnant. She's pretty new. She's got some nice stats. Dangerous faction? Oh, again? Can't y'all settle down? When are you guys going to get in here? I think we're going to have to start taking some armies out and attacking the guys while they're smaller. High Chief Ferenic of Peterbilt claims the High Chief is love. Is it tempting to promote heresies? Are you? No? You look like you're reformed angry. I think you're full of shit, bro. All right, we're going to wait right here. We can see the Italian army there. These guys are trying to all merge up. High Chief Dis of Transylvania has provided me with proof that Shaman Miroslav has been viciously slandering me. Hey, the Shaman and our religion murder people. We're not going to do anything about it. Alright, they're bringing in troops to attack. When will these guys be here? The 18th. They'll be in on the 11th. When that group gets in on the 11th, I think we're going to bring these guys in as reinforcements. And they did. Let's bring in our reinforcements. Look at the Italians. They ran away. They're like, fuck this shit. You made a mistake attacking us while you were outnumbered, bro. How long till our reinforcements get in there? Six days? My liege, my mission at Pavia. We're just continue to... Our chancellor here is like, I kissed up more to the king of Italy. How's this siege going? You know what? Fuck this siege. We're going to bring guys in here. We're going to crush the enemy. Pretty good. We broke their left flank. Well, their right flank. Our left flank broke it. And we crushed their army. Victory! All right, one of our armies, we'll take the 5,000-man army, I think. They will chase those guys who are retreating. We are at 48% war score now. Why don't you all just surrender, accept the superiority of the Carpathian Empire and the Tegri religion? And our siege was successful for the city here. Now we just got to take, or I'm sorry, the temple. Now we just have to take the city. You can see their army trying to escape, but our other army, yep, have caught up with them and is going to kick their butts in. Hopefully we can capture some guys to ransom later on. They don't even have a right flank. This has ended up being a very good defensive position, especially when they're dumb enough to attack across the Danube. I'd like to imagine that river is named after our old original leader, Dan. <laughs> I know it's not. We captured some old bishop dude. He's like, that's not my name. Yeah, it's old bishop dude. 59% war score. How many troops do you have, Holy Roman Emperor? Oh, you still got about 10,000. Man, these guys know how to replenish their troops quickly. Victory! Get out of here, Chancellor! I don't even know who these guys beat, but they beat somebody. I really should find someone else for the Chancellor to kiss up to, but... Interesting enough, the Byzantine Empire has finally ended their civil war. Come on, we want to take this city here. The rise of the Shia, the schism at the heart of Islam, dates back to its earliest days. The majority Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali. The Shia is forcing them into hiding. So the Shiites are getting more powerful. I don't know if they show up on the religion map yet. It would make sense, though, because the Sunni... I don't see the Shiites much of anywhere. I see the Mia face. Mia feist? Fist? Whatever. Because the Abbasids fell apart. But it seems like the Sunnis are still the dominant power. We're going to want to keep an eye on these guys. They might try and cross here and then attack these guys. If so, yep, that is their plan.
They'll be there on the 29th. We will wait, and then we'll send in reinforcements to help them. While still be being able to siege the city here. Alright, let's send in the reinforcements. They had to cross a major river again. We are on a hill again. Fortunately, we have... Oh, unfortunately, we only have one decent leader here. Oh, I wish we could capture the King of Germany. And our reinforcements have shown up. The cavalry arrives just in time to save the day. As we crush another big army of the Catholics. We lost another sea, uh, uh, trade post up in the north. I'm not too worried about those. Oh, apparently Sweden's in the middle of a civil war. I bet you part of the reason is because... You'll probably see it in the Holy Roman Empire, maybe Italy and France soon. Because they're sending... Oh, you can see it already in part of France. So many of their people are coming to die in our war that is weakening their kings. And the people who are rivals to the kings are going to be able to start civil wars in those areas. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. we still got a ways to go to win this war. Oh, somebody left the war. The king of Italy left the war. Excellent. He is no longer fighting us. Now we're just fighting the king of France, who still has a lot of troops. The king of Sweden, who has little troops and has a giant civil war going on. And the uh, emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, whose army is pretty beat up. Out of curiosity, let's go all the way up to the king of Sweden. Well, he's fighting against... Uh, a revolt? Somebody else is trying to take the throne? Somebody else is trying to take the throne, I guess? And somebody's trying to lower crown authority. See, Sweden? You shouldn't have got involved in our war. What has the Holy Roman Empire ever done for you? Well, I hope to see you all next time. Maybe we'll win the war. Hopefully things don't turn around on us. The truth is the Byzantine Empire has got a fair amount of power now. It wouldn't be a bad time for them to strike. But hopefully they won't. Take it easy.